वेलकम टू सिग्मा सॉल्वर गाइज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू स्मैश द लाइक बटन दिस हेल्प्स द यूट्यूब एलगोरिदम एंड कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू हियर देन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर एडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अनदर टॉपिक विच इज इन एलिप्टिक कर्व क्रिप्टोग्राफी लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन लेट ई बी एन एलिप्टिक कर्व डिफाइंड ओवर जेड सेवन फील्ड कंप्यूट ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑन द कर्व एंड मेक अ फिगर प्लॉटिंग ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑन द कर्व नेक्स्ट वॉट इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द ग्रुप गिवेन द एलिमेंट एल्फा जीरो कोमा थ्री डिटरमाइन द ऑर्डर ऑफ अल्फा फर्स्ट वी विल लुक इन टू द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ एलिप्स इन एलिप्टिक कर्व क्रिप्टोग्राफी विच इज वाई स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स एक्स क्यूब प्लस ए एक्स प्लस बी मॉड पी इन आवर केस इट इज गिवेन ई थ्री कॉमा टू ओवर जेड सेवन हेन्स वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज थ्री वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज टू एंड पी इज सेवन नाउ नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट दैट कैन बी ऑप्टेन्ड इन एन ई सी सी और द एलिप्टिक कर्व इज गिवेन बाई हैसेज अप्रॉक्सीमेशन इफ जेड पी इज द फील्ड एज इन आर केस देन पी प्लस वन माइनस टू टाइम्स रूट पी is less than or equal to number of points in the elliptic curve which is less than equal to p plus 1 plus 2 root p so if we just simply put the value of 7 here we get 2.70 is less than the number of points which is less than 13.29 so it provides a vast choice of the number of points that can be present but it is of more use when the value of a p and b are of higher magnitudes right for smaller cases we can have this particular expression number of points in elliptic curve is nearly equal to p so in our case it will be nearly equal to 7 okay now we move to the next point so how do we find the points in the elliptic curve so we need to go from 0 up till p minus 1 right so 0 1 2 and up till p minus 1 in our case it will be 6 so procedure for finding a point on ecc will be first i'll explain the concept and then we'll go through the numbers one by one let x equals c which is constant for this particular conceptual part then y square equals k mod p as you can guess k is another constant which is equal to c cube plus ac plus b this particular congruence relation will have a solution if and only if one gcd of k comma p is equal to 1 that is greatest common divisor next d is equal to gcd of 2 comma 5p 5p denotes the number of integers that are relatively prime to p next third k raised to power 5p upon d is congruent to 1 mod p now if p is a prime number then 5p can be calculated as p minus 1 now all the above show that there are exactly d distinct solution or points in mod p so if all these three are satisfied for a particular value of k which comes from x then we will say that there are k distinct solution in mod p next we come to the calculation part so first we take x equal to 0 we put in the equation of the curve we get y square is congruent to 2 mod 7 so for that we apply the checks first gcd of 2 comma 7 which is 1 next d is equal to gcd of 2 comma 5 of p which is 7 minus 1 that is 6 so it is 2 again next we put k raised to power k in our case comes from 2 raised to power 5p by d is equal to 1 mod p so if we check 2 raised to power 3 equals 1 mod p which is true then we can say that hence there must be two solutions to y square equals 2 mod 7 if we just simply try to figure out what will be the values of y in the positive quadrant of course starting from 0 and onwards then it will be 3 and 4 so the points that we found out are 0 comma 3 and 0 comma 4 next we do the same for x equals to 1 put in the equation we get y square equals 6 mod 7 first we apply the checks gcd of 6 comma 7 is 1 okay next gcd of 2 comma 5 of 7 which is 6 is 2 next 6 raised to power 6 upon 2 should be equal to 1 mod 7 which if we check is not the case because 6 raised to power 3 is 216 and 216 mod 7 is not equal to 1 so there are no solution where x equals to 1 similarly you have to proceed with the rest of the values of x that are 2 comma 3 comma 4 5 and 6 i would suggest you to pause the video here and try to find out the points yourself okay next we move 
to the actual points that we will find so here are the points 0 comma 3 and 4 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 4 comma 6 4 comma 1 5 comma 4 5 comma 3 you see there is an additive inverse of the group which is 0 comma 3 and 0 comma 4 again 3 and 4 6 and 1 and 4 or 3 because all of these pairs add up to 7 which get us a sense of additive inverse of each other we plot these points so i've just made a simple plot 4 comma 6 up top 5 comma 4 5 comma 3 4 comma 1 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 0 comma 3 and 0 comma 4 now we come to the b part which is order of the group as we all know that the points of the elliptic curve form a group which is an algebraic structure because there is a special point at infinity often denoted as o which serves as a identity element in this group so when you add this point to any other point on the curve it returns the point itself so 0 plus p is equal to p itself so that is followed therefore the points belong to a particular group now we have already found out eight points plus the point at infinity o which serves as an identity element as i said also it's a neutral element in the reverse property hence the order of the group is 8 plus 1 9 we added 1 and 8 because order of group means the total number of elements that are present in the group next we come to the order of 0 comma 3 which is an element say alpha so order of an element means the number of other group elements that can be generated using this particular element first we find the successive sums until we get the identity element identity element is 0 as we discussed above so for that we need to find 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha and so on until we get the identity element this we can achieve by the point doubling and addition method which is another important concept in elliptic curve cryptography i have already discussed point doubling and point addition method in a previous video which is linked in the i button here so i will not go into the calculations so i'll skip the calculations here and go straight away to the answer so zero times alpha is zero which is the identity element next one times alpha is zero comma three two times alpha is 2 comma 3 3 times alpha comes out to be 5 comma 4 4 times alpha is 4 comma 6 5 times alpha 4 comma 1 6 times alpha 5 comma 3 7 times alpha 2 comma 4 and so on but in the last element you see 9 times alpha becomes 0 which is the identity element that we have in the first part right so this no longer becomes a new element this is the repetition that will form from this part and if we check that all these points which we found here are already present in the points that we discussed above right this means that alpha is a generator of the group we can generate all the points in the ellipse using alpha hence the order of the element is 9 which is the order of the group itself alpha is the primitive element or generator that generates the entire group simply by point addition and point doubling so these were some of the important concepts in elliptic curve cryptography that's been it if you still have any doubts then feel free to reach out in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos Till then, happy solving. Hey there, before you go, I've got some fantastic content lined up for you. Over here, we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy. But first, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.